Hey everybody, it's Kim Danke, Bishop Oleth, new member, Fast Track Instructor. I hope that you have had a wonderful and great Wednesday, and I am glad that you are here with me tonight. If you are in the Zoom room, hey Mildred, hey Katinka, if you're in the Zoom room, do me a favor, because Zoom updated, and some things have changed. Hey Wanda, so Zoom is updated. And if you will find your chat button, just like y'all have found, and you see where it says hosts and panelists, they used to just say panelists. And then you had to choose all panelists and attendees. Well, now it says hosts and panelists, and then you need to choose everyone, everyone. So it looks like if Wanda and Katinka could do that, that'd be awesome. And then, yes, please sit in to refresh. I love that. I love that you knew exactly where to come, Katinka. That is awesome. And we're so, thank you, Wanda. Thank you. You know, when these little uh, programs have their updates, we have to learn new things and figure them all out. Um, oh, okay, Mildred. Interesting. Got it, Katinka. Awesome. If you are on Facebook, please take a second to say hello. Give us a few hearts and likes. And if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, if you're on a device, you'll see the share button. Do you know that every first class with Shibboleth is free? So you can send this out into the world and let them see what we have to offer. It would help us very, very much. Hey, Alicia, I thank you for tagging. I love that. That's awesome. Thank you. If if, if somebody wants to join in on a, on a group lesson, you can always tell them that they can join me at 7.30 at night or the, the one that would um, really be great is the Sunday Night Lifestyle Overview. You can invite friends to that so they can see what this is all about. First class is always free and we love to show new members what we have to offer. Hey, J.O. York, glad you're here. It's awesome. That is awesome. And if y'all don't know, you can be a Shibola member. What do you get with membership? You get support. You get all the tools on the website, a full food library, recipe library, restaurant guide. And we just tell you the simple swaps that you need to make in order to eat in a way that controls insulin, which is the secret to weight loss and other awesomeness. Okay. And guess how much a lifetime membership is right now? $79. That's it. I'm not saying monthly. I'm not saying annually. I'm talking lifetime. You pay that. You never have to pay again. Shibolithdeals.com. Shibolithdeals.com. And it's going to ask you how you heard about Shibolith. If you heard about it from a person, please type in their first and last name in that blank. We like to thank our members. Um, Debbie, Debbie, a new member has had two perfect days. That is awesome. Way to go. Way to go. Hey, Joey. Hey, Deb. Glad you're here. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. And tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Fast Track Lap 3. Now, when we're doing Fast Track, I don't actually go over Lap 1 and Lap 2 with everybody because Lap 1 is really just 
printing some documents that you need to read and look at. It's joining some Facebook groups. You know, you can do that on your own. And there's a little video tutorial right there as well. And each task has that little pop-up box that tells you what to do for it. And then in lap two, you're really just taking your own measurements and filling out your profile. And I can't really do that for you. So you can do those two on your own. Plus I spend Sunday night, which is technically day one. I just don't have these listed out day wise because some people get started on a Wednesday. Well, they could go ahead and do lap one on a Wednesday. So I just wanna say to go right ahead and get lap one and lap two done. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over lap three tonight. Hey, Cindy, glad you're here. So, Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, Zoom has had a change. So Deb and Cindy, if you don't mind, click where your but, click where your chat button says hosts and panelists and choose the option for everyone for me, okay? That way, if you have questions, people can read those as well. So tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start having a look at the food library. And just to show you, this is a tutorial right over here of me showing uh, you how to work that food library. But y'all, I'm very teachery. I used to be a teacher and a principal. And so I pulled out those educational things and Sasha and I created this curriculum. But so you're gonna see a lot of things that I say to do that are kind of homeworky, okay? But you have to look at this as the education that you've just never received, but as an adult, you know that you need and you are willing to commit the time to it to learn it and do it for you and your family. So I'm gonna read this little pop-up box. And it simply says, one of the best ways to familiarize yourself with the food library is to do a brainstorming activity. Take a blank sheet of paper and write down in no particular order all the foods you can think of, like, or eat on a regular basis. Just let them flow, all the ideas. Then look up each of those foods that are on your paper and write down which category the item is found in. Once you've done that, you're gonna take another sheet of paper and organize your lists by categories. If you've ever done a brainstorming activity, that's what you do. As you are exploring, please heart each food item you like or you think you might like to try. Hearting a food item adds it to your personal favorites, which can be found in your My Journal tab or the My Favorites tab in the food library. One of the most important things that you can do is to make sure you have taken the test, the fast track test, okay? Now the fast track test actually doesn't happen all the way at the end of fast track. You can actually take it in lap one or lap two. I do have it as the last task in lap two because I want you to have taken that test before you get to the food library. If you go to the food library and you don't see everything there, that's because the test hasn't been taken and the full food library isn't opened up to you yet. So you taking the fast track quiz is part of fast track. The, the, the badge that you get actually says fast track complete, but technically it's not complete until you have clicked off and completed every task and every lap. But you want this badge to open up your food library, which we're about to play in. So I'm gonna click right here. And the food library is just brilliant. Do you know this is what I always wanted? I can walk around in the store and wonder if things are good. I call it wandering and wondering randomly wandering around the store, wondering which foods are not going to make me gain weight. And now I know because I've got the Shibola Food Library because we've done all the work for you and just put it in the food library. So there's a couple of different ways to look at this. Uh, Jan, there's actually not. Jan is asking, can we see what questions we got wrong so we can learn what the right answers are? Uh, yeah, it just doesn't do that, Jan. It doesn't do that. But if you passed, if you passed, you're good to go. You're good. Um, you'll continue to, to learn everything. Sorry that it won't do that. I know that would be nice feedback. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so in the food library, you can look at it a couple of ways. 
here's a filter. So you can click right there. And what it'll do is it takes you to the entire food library and it gives you these filters at the top. And it takes a second to generate that because there's a lot. And so look, it starts off with, you know, the funny symbols and then numbers. And it's basically the entire food library all right here. And you could start filtering things out by gluten-free. You could filter things out by vegan, vegetarian. We're going to talk about the weight loss meter in just a second. You can look at it like that if you want to. This is not my preferred way to look at it because I think there's a better, more organized way to look at it. So we're going to go back to the original look of the food library. So you have category one, lean protein. We talked about those on Sunday night and Monday night. You got category two, fibers, carbs. And I'm real big on everybody reading everything. So read that little paragraph, read that little paragraph, read that little paragraph. You know, everything that you read helps you build this framework of knowledge, okay, that you can take and apply into your daily life because that's what we're looking to do. Make those changes that are going to affect our daily lives. So you can keep kind of going on down and you know we have categories one through seven. We talked about that. But condiments is actually a category. Creamer is a very popular topic. So we put it in a little category. Freebies can be a category. Snacks, extras. So these just aren't your typical food combining categories, but there are other things that we like to eat, right? Meal replacements is kind of its own category. Perfect pairing, we'll talk about that in a minute. There's a whole category on breads because on Planet Shibboleth, we do not eliminate any macronutrients. We just tell you which ones are the best to use and then you choose from there. Uh, low blood sugar snacks, phase one cereal and phase two cereal, phase two frozen meals and phase two soups. And I'll stop right there. And I don't want to confuse anybody by using the terms phase one and phase two. Phase one is really the best of the best foods. Phase two, guess what we have in phase two? Captain Crunch, Reese Puffs, stuff like that. You've got to inherently know we didn't go higher quality when I start mentioning Captain Crunch, but it still works, okay? It still works. But it's not the absolute best, but what it does is it gives you variety, okay? It gives you variety. So phase two just means there's more variety. And you could technically use all of these things from the very beginning, but if you were willing to not use phase two things for the first seven to 10 days, you're gonna get some really awesome results and be super excited and get a nice little kickstart. Who couldn't use a kickstart? Everybody can. Then froze, phase two, frozen meals and phase two, soups. So, and then you've got Atkins. Atkins is just a huge category. So if you like Atkins products, you can click there and look at it. There's a pizza. Uh, of course, pizza is its own category. But when you click on certain pizzas, it'll, it'll narrow down that category for you. Breading and flour, milk, salad dressings, beverages, beer, wine, and liquor, spices and seasonings cooking oils, healthy fats, gluten-free products, vitamins and supplement, other things, pre and post workout freebies, restaurant food, and coach mode meals. So those are some options right there. These same options are actually listed down the side over here just without the extra little paragraph. And if you're looking at this on a phone, this is the listing you're going to see. You're going to see this listing right over here. I love this area right here. This always shows you what was recently added. I would come in here about once a week if I were y'all and have a look and see what was added. Do you know how things get added? People go into the grocery store wanting to know if this would be approved. Then they take a picture. Well, they look and see if it's approved in the library. And if it's not, they simply take a picture of the front of the item and the back of the item, and they post it in a special Facebook group that we have called Shibboleth Fixed It. 
If you're not a member of that group yet in lap one, that's one of the tasks to join that group. Why do I put that as a task? Because I know you're going to want the group. And if you'll trust the fast track system, it will methodically walk you through setting up your account right, getting in the right Facebook groups and all of that. Trust the system. Let's see. Shannon says, what did you click on to see this again? Is it on the app? The, well, the food library is on the app, Shannon, but I'm in the mobile, I'm in the website, but the website is also mobile friendly. I prefer the mobile friendly website. And so what I do on my phone is I have a link. I have a link right here. Like if you look at my phone, if I click on my Shibboleth folder, and I click right there, that brings up the food library. Uh, Mildred, how do you refresh the food library? In your app, it, it would only need to be refreshed in your app. And so what you would do is you click on the app itself. Then you click on food library. And in the top right-hand corner, it says sync. And I've already synced mine, so it didn't take but a second. That's how you do it. Now, Mildred, I would, if you haven't synced it in a while, you, you really want to sync that app about once a week because when Kim Shibboleth makes changes and things like that, then it goes into the system, but you, it, you don't see the changes until you've synced it. Um, well, in the regular food, in the regular website, you don't really need to refresh the food library, I don't think. Mildred, but if you ever want to refresh, this is the refresh button right here. Refresh button is right there on your, um, next to your search bar, the main uh, website search bar, or search engine search bar. Okay, so let's say that you're looking for something specific. You can type it right here. Most of our pages have a search feature, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and do you see right here where it says add new food? We don't actually want you to use that link. <laughs> we have the Shibboleth let's fix it group for that. So take a picture of the front of the item and the back of the item and add it there. That's probably how these items right here were approved because somebody's found these in the grocery store. They weren't in the food library. And so they requested for Kim to look at them and Kim did different Kim than me, by the way. Um, if you need her, it's Kim Shibboleth. You would tag Kim Shibboleth. But in the Shibboleth fixed it group, not the main silver group, okay? So the way I like to look at foods is per, by category rather than clicking all the filters because the filters are also in each of the categories. Before I move over into a category, do you see this button right here? This is my favorites. This is what where you will find your own personal food library. Keep in mind, there's 6,000 or more food items and it grows weekly in this food library. But that's a lot of items. But if you heart them and you click on my favorites, this is gonna generate just my list of favorites. And then if I wanna search in just my list, my own personal list of favorites, there's a search bar for that. So it's amazing. And then Shannon, did you, uh, on the app, it's the food library. And where I clicked to get here, Shannon, was in the fast track lap three, lap three, the very first task. But when you guys are no longer in fast track, you'll access the food library through this green tab right here. In fact, this green tab is gonna be one of your favorites. You can access the food library, the recipe library, the restaurant options, void replacements, and much, much more here on this one. So hopefully that uh, helped you out there, Shannon. Yes, yes. Uh, it's the first task in lap three. Make sure that you've done lap one and two before you move to lap three, because that last task in lap two opens up the full food library. Cool. Good. Awesome. Okay, so let's say that you want to you want to find out lean proteins. You just click on lean proteins. And remember, one of the most important things we can do this week is make our favorites lists. You don't have to eat anything on Planet Shibboleth you don't like, but what you do need to do is figure out what you like. You are on a nutritional adventure, and we're going to figure out what you like. 
All right, so we're in the category one lean protein category. See those filters up top, these little blue buttons? You can click those if you need to. And here's the weight loss meter. The weight loss meter is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It goes from a negative three to a positive three. Right here in the center is zero. Not gonna help you, not gonna hurt you. But if we're wanting to lose weight, we want things that are going to help us, not really be neutral. So what I'm gonna do real quick, just to eliminate some things I don't really need to have in my list is I'm gonna bring this little list down to negative three to negative one, and I'm gonna hit set. Jolena, I actually can help you with that. So Jolena just got started today. Welcome, we're glad that you are here. You are in the right place, but let me show you what you're gonna do. Jolena, when you log into your account, you should be coming to Fast Track and it will look like this. The very first thing that you want to do is read this paragraph, watch this little video, and then you're gonna start hovering your mouse over each one of these tasks read the black box, click on the link and do the task, and then come back and check it off that you've done it. And if you will trust this system, it will walk you through absolutely everything. Because this actually starts over every Sunday night. So you're finding me on the third night. You are welcome to stay because you're going to learn a lot of things tonight. But you need to go back and watch Sunday and Monday night's webinars. And those are in lap two right here where it says watch the daily fast track webinars. That's just where I house them. Okay. And that's kind of just making sure that by the end of the week, you've watched all seven. Okay. So we're in category one, lean protein. And I slid that uh, right, you're welcome, glad you're here. You're in the right place and it's absolutely amazing. Just join me every single night and we'll keep right on learning. And if you have the time, go back and watch Sunday and Monday and work on lap one and two, okay? Um, so I've got this range here set from negative three to negative one. Do you know that that's just an additional way to categorize foods. We categorized foods based on their nutrition, nutritional profile and how they respond in your body. That's how they made it into category one lean protein, category two fibrous carbs and such. But then the weight loss meter is just a secondary way to kind of categorize what's the absolute best. So we've, we've narrowed this down. And isn't it easier to pick from a smaller list than a massive list? Might as well make this little range smaller, especially in the beginning. Why do we even have things that are up here in the positive? Because once you get to maintenance, there's going to be some items that you might want to use that aren't going to hurt you when you're in maintenance. So let's kind of keep it in those negative numbers when you're in weight loss, if possible. So yeah, as you can see, I have hearted these items and this says two to eight ounces of chicken breast, two to eight ounces of pork tenderloin, two to eight ounces of turkey breast and venison and fish and all of that. So what I did was I just kind of came down through here and scanned for the things that one, I already eat and heart, 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 heart. Okay. I already eat those. Yay. If I already eat them, this is not a new food that I'm learning how to eat, but I need to learn how to eat it for the right way. But as I'm scanning down through here, there's going to be these little nuggets all along the way. They're like, well, that sounds good. I've never seen that in the grocery store, you know, because we, we tend to buy the same things over and over in the grocery store. And this is why I kind of call this a nutritional adventure, because you're going to be trying new things. So as you come down through here, maybe you say, "Ooh, I know I like this Applegate product. I didn't even know they had all of those items. Let me look for some of those in the grocery store. Maybe you come down here and you go ballpark. I know that's a hot dog. Let me see what it is. It's ballpark white meat smoked turkey franks. Okay, so you just click the things that you either know that you like, but I actually want you to heart them if you think you might like to try them. Because when you're, scan when you're scanning through here, you actually will go, I think I'll remember that. Oh yeah, I'll remember that one. 
If you're busy like me, you don't remember it. So go ahead and heart it. It'll move it into your favorites. And then if you decide after you've tried it, I don't like that, you can unheart it and it'll move it back out of your favorites and you no longer have to concern yourself with it, okay? So I really like this. Now, when you're looking at this, let's take this ballpark white meat smoked, smoked turkey frank for an example. So if I click this link, it's going to take me to some more info on it. But I've got some more information right out here to the side. This is a negative three on the weight loss meter. Well, that's good. Uh, there's the heart. If I want to heart it, mark it as a favorite. This number here is the number of users who also marked this. 412 people said, I like that. Or they were curious about it and wanted to try it, but 412. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to learn about creating a grocery list and adding foods to a grocery list. But this is the button to add to a grocery list. Well, let's go ahead and click on this item. So I've clicked this item. It's ballpark white meat smoked turkey franks. We try to have a picture there when possible. Okay. So you're seeing the category. So you're confirming it's category one. Yes, awesome, Jan. It's category one lean protein. And we've also got this in our gluten-free products. Approved portion, one to two francs. One to two francs. But I'm not finished looking at the details. If I come down right here, one of the most important things you can read is description. Ballpark white smoked turkey franks. You may have up to two franks. Sounds funny eating franks, but anyway, um, I call them hot dogs, but they said franks on there, so we call them franks. It is best to use only one serving of approved bread. Okay, did you hear? I love this. We don't leave anything to chance and we tell you what's going to be the best. So it says it's best to only use one serving of approved bread. For instance, you could use one 50 calorie tortilla or a 50 calorie Joseph's pita. You could also use an approved hot dog bun. But what they're saying is it's best to only use one, not to have both Frank's in a hot dog bun each. Okay, so you got to figure out which way you might like to eat that or don't eat it with it at all. Just depends on what you're willing to do. Fry your Frank in a little MCT oil for added flavor and top with your favorite toppings. Now, when it says top with your favorite toppings, that could be approved condiments that you might like to use, okay? And you have to just figure out which ones work and are approved and all of that kind of stuff. Now, as I scroll down, looky there, there's four recipes that are connected to those Franks. We're going to recipes tomorrow night, so I'm not going to really spend much time doing that, but I do want to point out what that is. And as you continue to come down, this is where to buy. This where to buy information is added by Shibboleth members, not our team. So this only gets confirmed or, or, or non-confirmed that an item is found at those stores if a member enters it. This is not uh, team-related info. But it looks like they're sold at Kroger for sure. Ten people have confirmed they are sold at Kroger. So I really like this feature. Um, just kind of shows you that people have found it at that, rest at, at that grocery store or didn't find it at that grocery store. And that's only member-entered data. And then... This, this information right here is always good too. I get curious after a while. In the beginning, I just wanted to know what's approved, how do I eat it? But now I look at it and I look at it with more detail. Alicia says, Hormel, no bean, turkey chili, a quarter cup is your condiment and is so good. So that would be a chili dog. Guess what it'll look like? A chili dog. Guess what it'll taste like? A chili dog. But it's going to be a fat burning chili dog instead of a fat storing chili dog. Okay, so that was kind of fun. And you know, I actually have this hearted, but I've never actually purchased them. Um, but if I wanted to add them to a grocery list, boom, I just added them to a grocery list. That was a sneak peek of what we're going to do tomorrow. But the point is, you can also add to the grocery list here inside the item itself. So I'm going to go back a page. 
And so I would like for y'all to give me two, two things to look up. Not, um, not a recipe. Give me an actual food item that you're curious about. And we'll take the first two so that I can then move on to the other task in today's webinar. Okay, spaghetti. Hey, Julie. Spaghetti, which is great. I'm glad you mentioned that because I do want to go over pasta and beets. Those are the two I'm doing. And Alicia said bread. Okay, center cut bacon. All right, all right. Okay, we'll get to all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to that list. I'm going to pop over here in lap three. I'm going to look at this task right here. Create lists of your favorites in each categories on your fast track worksheet. Print, if you have a printer, if you do not have a printer, you can just recreate this worksheet on your own paper and use the attached worksheet to begin creating lists of your favorite foods in each list. The great thing about this worksheet is that you can print and create as many as you need. Okay, now I like this worksheet because there gives you a, a way to list 10 lean proteins. I want everybody to fill this in. In fact, don't click off that box that you've done it until this is filled in. Okay, just creating your favorites. Once you've created your favorites list by playing in the food library, then you can mark that, that task off, okay? So we're gonna make our favorites here. That's what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and check that box off. And then this one is to fill in the worksheet to create your first simple meals. Shannon, that's a it's, a, it's just a worksheet that you can use to categorize your favorite foods. You can use the worksheet after you print it, or you can just start writing your own foods on a piece of paper, however you wanna do it. But yeah, you've gotta categorize your food. That's where you, you don't actually put them on the website somewhere. You're, they're going to be at your, on your paper at home. But yeah, you need to start making your favorite foods in all the categories. And then the, this task here says to create simple meals. So we're going to go back to that worksheet. So right here, after, after you have created your favorites in all of those categories, you start building meals. So let's say that right here you had chicken breast, and hey, Angela, glad you're here. Let's say that you had chicken breast it written in there. Well, right here, you could write chicken breast. And let's say in the fibrous carb category, see it's a two, it's a two right there. Let's say you had broccoli. So you could do chicken breast and broccoli right there. This MCT is reminding you that if it's something that you could cook it up, cook, cook in oil, that you should use MCT if possible. Um, does make your category lean protein and fibrous carb the fastest fat burning combination. But if you don't have MCT oil, you could use coconut oil, ghee butter, or zero calorie cooking spray. But we really like the one that we have, it's zero drag. That's the one I buy and it is brand new. Hey, Angelia, glad you're here. So then you're gonna start building meals right here. And so I just don't want you to check this box off until you have filled in the worksheet. The purpose of having a worksheet is so that you have to think about it. Um, so MCT oil is an, is an approved cooking oil. And it's listed here because if you have, let's say that you put chicken breast down and, and, and green beans or broccoli, and you can cook that up in some MCT oil, then you, you could use some MCT oil. So really anything that you can cook or when you're making a recipe or you can make approved salad dressings with it. Shannon, anytime you're cooking and need an oil, that's your simple swap. So you just wouldn't use olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and those oils anymore. MCT, 100% MCT is gonna be your new oil. So here's the way that I like to say this so you won't get confused. Use it when you're cooking lean proteins from category one or category seven. That's when I use it. If I'm cooking a protein plus fat, I don't use it because it's already got fat in it and I don't need additional fat. So what I do is I use a zero calorie cooking spray then. My, exam my good examples on that is 
egg whites. If I've been cooking egg whites, I'm gonna use a little drizzle of MCT oil. But if I'm cooking whole eggs that already have fat in them, I'm not gonna use MCT oil. I'm gonna use zero calorie cooking spray. So I use MCT when I'm cooking category one or category seven. And technically, Shannon, you can also use it when you're cooking a fibrous carb. So let's say that uh, you wanted to toss some, like a stir fry veggies or something with some oil, you could use that in that. You just don't want to use it with anything that already has fat in it or with anything that brings an insulin release that would capture that fat, okay? And so I would cook, I would do a lean protein, but Shannon, you're not going to need it if you're doing an Oikos triple zero yogurt because there's nothing to cook up. You wouldn't pour oil in that. Okay. And we don't use it as a supplement. Uh, we don't put it in bulletproof coffee and we don't randomly add it to things. We just use it for the cooking oil on a, on a, a lean protein or a fibrous carb. Now you'll notice that over here, I don't really have the MCT listed because I'm, I'm just not going to put it with those. But I want you to physically build these meals from your favorites lists. That's why it's important to build the favorites lists. Okay, so once you've done that, you can check that box, okay? All right, so let's go back to the food library. And let's look up those items. Spaghetti. So I'm going to look up pasta. I'm just going to put pasta in there because spaghetti would be tagged with that keyword. And last night, we talked about the fact that you could have a whole grain pasta as a category three energy carb, but then I mentioned three pastas that are going to be better than that, better than that. So look at all these pastas, Julie, all those are pastas. I would, I need, I actually need to even click show more to get to the bottom of the list. So that's a lot of pasta options. So what I'm gonna do, Julie, to make this list smaller, cause I want the best of the best pasta. So I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna do negative one, negative three, see if I'm left with anything. So what I did was I drug that ball over and then I hit the set button. Okay, so there's my list now. I like to scoot that weight loss meter down to have a smaller list to choose from. If I'm then not pleased with the amount of choices that I have, I'll pop that number up to zero and give myself just a little bit more options. So that's the way I kind of work that. So I want small, then I can grow my list. Well, first of all, this AHS cheesesteak pasta is just a meal replacement pasta and it's in our store and it's really, really good. But this is the al dente carbonata pasta. It's kind of like egg noodles though, not, not um, spaghetti. Now we're gonna get to that spaghetti, don't worry. When I click here, uh, this is very important. I want you to see this. Do you see how it says category one, two, three? This means that the item that is pictured or listed here has enough lean protein, fibrous carb, and energy carbs in it to be all three categories. So it's all three, which is a, that's a proper combination actually. One, two, and three is a proper combination. You can find it in our store. That's what that green button is for. You can find it right there in our store. If you ever are gonna buy things on Amazon, even if they're not Shibboleth items, if you click on the find it on Amazon button, it actually helps our little ministry. So you can click there to get to Amazon. Even if you don't put Carbonata in your Amazon cart, but you throw a computer in there, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get credit for that. So we like for people to go through a link on the uh, website to get there. This Carbonata pasta, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some questions. If this says that, yeah, technically, yeah, Julie, because mm -hmm, that's a one, two, three. One, two, three is a proper combo, and you could put a little ghee butter on there as your uh, condiment. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, so here's the question. If you wanted to put some meat, 
Yeah, Shannon. Okay, this is the, the, actually Shannon. This is going to be the question right here. Okay, it's a one, two, and three. But if you want to add some meat to this, if you want to add some meat to this, which category meat can you get it from? Yes, that's right. One or seven. One or seven. That's right. You would not pull this from a protein plus fat because of this thing right here, because we don't eat category four protein plus fats with energy carbs. But let's say that you want a pasta where you can have a protein plus fat with it. Oh, and Samantha, not Samantha, um, Shannon, Shannon, you could also add some category two veggies to that. You know, maybe you wanted to do a little bit of broccoli pieces or something in there. You could do that too, because you can have, you can have multiple category twos with a, with a meal. You still just wanted to fit under, you know, like that might be a cup to cup and a half, whatever you mix all together, a cup to a cup and a half of the whole thing would be plenty. Let's, let's come right here. Now, Julie, this might not be what you're looking for. But this is a black bean spaghetti. It's good. I really like this one, though, the edamame spaghetti pasta noodles. And let's open this up. This one is a one and a two. This is a one and a two. This one doesn't have any category three energy carbs in it. So if you want to meet with it, you can have anything uh, with this, any meat with this. And there's other, there's recipes down there. This Travis recipe is one of my absolute favorites. So this would be a good pasta to use. And then let's look up one more. I want y'all to see the fiber gourmet pasta, fiber gourmet. And I see that it is not here. So what that means is it's not negative one to uh, negative three. I'm going to slide that little ball back up and set it to zero. But the fiber gourmet is a category two a category two. Now, I think category one and two together for a pasta is better. That's where I like the Explore Cuisine ones. Let's come down here. There we go. Fiber Gourmet. I need to mark that as I heart it. Um, and there's linguine, elbows, penne, and rotini there. So not really the spaghetti. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click spaghetti now. And this is part of the process. You know, you look, you see, you find things. It's an adventure. Okay, so we're coming back to this Explore Cuisine. Some of these are going to be not a true pasta, just like a, 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 mixed, a mixed item. And some of them is going to say a spaghetti dry sauce. There's a lot of sauces mixed here. Okay, there's another spaghetti, an edamame spaghetti by Sea Point. There's some Simply Nature. There's some Simply Nature spaghetti and a black bean, uh, black soybean, edamame, and soybean. Well, there's skinny pasta. Now they're suggesting spaghetti squash and the zerudel which I've never seen those, but let's click on that skinny pasta. So there's some other pastas right there, skinny pasta. These are made from these cognac noodles though. It's kind of like miracle rice. So Julie, I would be more likely in the spaghetti if you want it for the family to use the edamame one. It's going to be the closest in color and my husband, everybody likes it. That's the one I would do. Okay, now let's look up beets. Also keep in mind that that weight loss meter is there too for you to see which one are the best. Okay, so beets. Beets are a category two fibrous carb. They're a negative one on the weight loss meter. They're also a freebie. Now keep in mind, we do not add freebies to meals. Freebies are an item that is only used in a moment of mental weakness where we are going to give in a perfect day. You could go eat a bunch of beets, okay? 
Um, but we don't add it to meals. If you put it with a meal, you call it a category two fibrous carb. So it says you could do up to a cup. Now that's if it'll fit, under, fit underneath your hand. And if that's the only thing that you are having with that meal, because if you're doing two category twos or eating it with a category three, a whole cup of beets probably wouldn't fit under there. Then you come in and read that information there. But this is a category two. So you would write that on your category two a favorites list if you like beets and then there's some recipes. Those other items that had beets listed, these are all condiments. So you would want to use those as such. Okay, I'm going to come back to the bread, Alicia. I'm going to go to the center cut bacon. Center cut bacon. Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. It is the Kroger brand. I'm pretty sure this is Kroger. The Private Selection is Kroger. So that is a category four, protein plus fat. And it says you could have up to four slices, but it's very important to come down here and read this. You may have up to four slices if this is your only protein source. If you're having it with an egg, have one to two slices. And this must be served with a category two. So we tell you exactly what to do on that. And there's a couple of little recipes that are connected with that. And yeah, Kroger, this is a Kroger brand item. When you are looking for protein plus fats, you don't want more than 50% of the calories to come from fat. So you would, that's why this one, I guess this one works. So Shannon, the, the Explore Cuisine Pasta can be found on our website and the, um, the Carbonata Pasta as well, but they're sold out in some other stores too. And um, what you can do is click on that item and scroll down to the bottom and see if anybody has said where they've found it, but we do sell it in our store. So go to the store and look, I can show you all that in just a second. And then what else are we going to look for? Breads. So to find breads, I'm gonna come down here and just click on this because it's already linked them all. Okay, Alicia says Carbonata and Explore. She's found at Publix and Food City both. Okay, so here's breads. Now, first of all, I want to mention this. If you need a bread, a bed, a bread to be gluten-free, you can use that little filter right there. And then let's say that you're vegan or vegetarian over in the lean proteins. See, vegans and vegetarians sometimes don't get enough protein in and they really need to. So you can use the vegan and vegetarian if you're, if you're that and you want to find those additional lean proteins. Okay. But I'm on the best bread, so I'm going to do negative one, negative three. We're going to see where we can pick from. So that's how I pick breads. That's how I pick most things. Thanks, Deb. Deb says Kroger has it too. So there's an Aunt Millie's listed. Uh, let's kind of come down here and look a little bit more. Joseph's, I ate a lot of Joseph's in the beginning. You can see I hearted that a bunch. Ingles sold that, it was good. Kroger, there's a Kroger Card Master Classic White Bread. Ooh, it's a negative three, wow. That might be good if you eat white bread and you wanna switch it out for your family and as they don't know. Uh, Kroger Card Master Multi-Seed Bread, that'd probably be up my alley, I like that. And then a lot of these things that are listed in the breads, are not just loaf bread. Some of this is tortillas and lavash bread and pita bread and so forth. And so what I do is I just simply scan for um, brand names that I already know. And then I look and see which ones I'd want to buy. And then if I want to try something new or different, I just look for brands I haven't purchased before and have a look at those. So I do a lot of these though, the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortilla which is really, really good. Love the Shibboleth high protein brown bread. Oh man, this stuff, I got to click on this. This stuff is good. Category one and two breads. This is a lean protein and fibrous carb bread. 
It's delicious. And you can get that in our little store right there. Okay, so we're going to wrap that part up because I want to get to the timing chart. Okay, so once you have brainstormed, you've played around in the food library, looking up all the foods that you like, because you got to figure that part out, you can check the box, okay? So next, timing chart. This is all about journaling. Familiarize yourself with the timing chart. Click on the weekly timing chart above to view your personal timing chart. The link in this task is to a video on how to use your timing chart to your benefit. Your timing chart is going to be an extremely valuable tool for you. It is a great visual as to whether or not you are doing your best. On your first and second perfect days, you're going to see a green check. On your third perfect day, you're going to see a flame and you are now an EFB baby, efficient fat burning. Your body is now in a state where it can efficiently burn fat. So we're going to click here. We're not going to watch the video. That's something that you can watch on your own. It's really not that long, but I at least want to show you what it looks like when you get there. Okay, so it says your Shibboleth timing chart. And look, it's four minutes and 28 seconds and I'm doing a video. Okay, so Beverly, having trouble staying with the timing chart? Well, the timing chart is created when you journal. So you got to journal to get the timing chart to create itself. So if you go into journal, you've got to mark what type of day you're having right there. So I'm having an intermittent fasting day today, and then I'm going to go to my weekly timing chart and it creates these little icons so if you're journaling your 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 timing chart sh chart should be creating itself so look at this look what i've got going on i got on i got going on an, an efb streak right there i'm excited about that well let's go back and look at my very first beginning because it's good to explain this when I was starting because it's your starting. Julie, can you have a whole egg, three pieces of bacon, and one piece of toast, and it still be fat burning? Um, if it's that center cut bacon, it said to do two. So I'd probably do two pieces of bacon. Um, so we've got, we got a four, a four, and approved toast. Actually, that's an approved meal, Julie. Um, four and a two. Yep, so I would just stick to two on the bacon. I would stick to two slices on the bacon. Aw. Um, well, congratulations that he's finishing that up, Julie. Wow, wow. Yeah, um, now what I would recommend, Julie, though, at Waffle House is to go to the restaurant guide and click on Waffle House and see what they suggest. You have to take your own toast there. You need to take your own toast there for sure. Unless you've seen what toast they're, what they, what brand they use. Gotcha, gotcha. Their bacon, they probably don't have the bacon in there, Julie, because their bacon is probably a little fatty for that choice. But um, yeah, it's probably a little fatty for that. But you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this was my very first perfect day, green check. This was my second perfect day, green check. This is my third perfect day. So in your journal, you just journal what type of day you're having. You don't have to worry about the icon that's going to pop up. The system is designed to put in the right icon. Um, Beverly, how important is it to have six hours between meals? Well, it's four to six, four to six, Beverly. So it's for optimization. 
that is the only part of the shibboleth shield that if you don't have it, um, that if you don't have it, then I mean, you don't meet it exactly, that's not going to throw you off of having a perfect day. Um, now, Shannon, let's see. Yes, Wendy. Wendy says, do you have to journal your holidays? Yes. Let me tell you, Travis is going to tell you that those are actually the most important days to journal because they will keep you. It will, if you're journaling your holidays, do you know that when you walk over there to, to write down every time you're going to throw a peanut M&M in your mouth or every time you're going to throw another cookie in your mouth, it'll, it might slow you down and you might have more of a holiday. I mean, a holiday meal than a holiday. But yeah, no, you definitely want to journal. And Wendy, sometimes people do not feel good after they uh, have a holiday. And he wants you to write down those feelings so that you can remember, ooh, I felt like crap. I don't want to do that again. Um, and so you will, writing it down helps us uh, change those habits. So yes, Wendy, definitely journal your holidays. Um, so yes, yes. So Shannon, the categories that Julie was having were both category fours, and I had said yes to a piece of bread, not knowing it was at Waffle House, but you can have a four and a two together, but when I saw that it was Waffle House, I took it back on the bread, because I don't know what kind of bread they're having, but you can have, you can have two fours together, you just don't want it to, you know, fit more than what's going underneath your hand, because a four and a two is a proper combo. Yes, Shannon. Yes, you can. So um, let's say that when you make a, uh, a salad, you're probably, yeah, Julie says she's even bringing her own bread, which is great. That's, she's doing a little survival kit action there, taking her own bread. So Shannon, let's say that you want to have some shrimp and steak or chicken and shrimp. As long as you're Items fit underneath there. That's totally fine. Let's say that you want green beans and broccoli. Green beans and broccoli. Or let's say that you are having a fibrous carb salad and you're doing um, some spinach and some bell peppers and some cucumbers. And yeah, you can put multiple things. Let's say you're making a wrap, an Olay Extreme Wellness high fiber tortilla with some lettuce in there. And then maybe you throw in some bell peppers or something totally you still need it to fit underneath your hands but yes you can have multiple items and Shannon that makes things fun so yeah Beverly should you journal in the evening or all day long okay so what I would do Beverly is write down what if you know if you know what you're gonna eat all day long if you write it before you bite it that's best practice. Like wake up in the morning, Alicia says it right there, go straight to your journal. So in the morning, if you'll write down everything that you're going to eat for the day, you eat it. And you know, well, I love what Alicia said. Alicia said you, she knows that she's going to get food all day long. So she, she knows what she's going to eat. So she makes a plan. Now she makes a plan. If you, I'm going to give you some, a tidbit about me. I'm not a planner necessarily, unless it's all about my timing chart and perfect days. But what I've learned to do is buy Shibboleth approved food. That's what I have in my house. So when I want to eat something, I go over and I get a Shibboleth approved item. So I would then write it down then, Beverly, because I haven't made a good plan. Uh, you're welcome, Katinka. And so I, but Beverly, if you can buy, write it before you bite it, just go ahead and write it in the morning. I might like to take one time to write that food down. So I write it in the morning. And if it changes, Beverly, you can go in there and change it. But if it doesn't change, then you don't have to go in and make any changes. So I hope that helps, Beverly. Okay, so then you just want to string as many efficient fat burning days together and then planned or unplanned a holiday is coming. There you go. When you get back from that holiday, you get right back to business. Green check. And then I learned about intermittent fasting and that's what this is. Jolena, I'm about to start a new job and start school next week. I was planning to meal prep by making meals to place in the freezer. 
<laughs> now, after signing up for this program, I'm lost on how to do that. Okay, you got to go back and watch um, Sunday night's webinar. Sunday and Monday night's webinar are going to help you, Jolena. They're going to help you. And actually, this is amazing for food prep. Absolutely amazing. Um, and you can also uh, go ahead and schedule a mentor appointment with one of our mentors. But I would go and go watch uh, Sunday night and Monday night's webinar, Jolena. You can do it. This is awesome for food planning and food prep. Awesome. Okay, I could keep going on, but Travis and Sasha are going to do the How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar. Shannon, how do you schedule a mentor meeting? It is in, um, let's see. There's several places you can find it, but I talk about that on lap seven. I always encourage people to schedule a mentor appointment after they've been through Fast Track. The reason I do that is because then they are going to have a more intelligent conversation with that mentor. Um, yes. Uh, and what you can do, Shannon, I love that you're saying that you've got lots of questions right here where it says to schedule a mentor appointment. It's the first task in lap seven. And then what you would want to schedule is this general Q&A. Schedule that right there on the general Q&A. And if you don't want to access that through Fast Track, you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the website and right here where it says schedule free, free mentor appointments. That's right there too. So those of you who have maybe seen me on Facebook and you are uh, wondering, how do you get a membership? You get a membership at ShaboliffDeals.com and you'll get access to all this information. It's only $79 and you never have to pay again, because we are currently running a special for a lifetime membership. So we would love to you for you to go do that. If you need to register for tonight web, tonight's webinar, go to the online webinars tab right there, and you can register right there. So grab your membership at shibolithdeals.com. I'll see y'all in the morning for the Chibi Show and tomorrow night for lap four of Fast Track. Bye, everybody.